I'm painting it straight out of the tube to show you that it's not about mixing on the palette. That's not what you're after. You're after pure colors. And I'm just going to use almost straight paint just to vary it. But a tiny bit, and it, it's better. If it were all orange, we'd go, that's all orange. We'd instantly, we go, that's orange. We don't need to look at it more. When you vary it, your brain starts going, where is it varied? And it provides interest. In order to create depth, how would I glaze this with gradation? Dark up here and light down here, or dark here and light that way? Contrast, high contrast comes forward, low contrast goes back. So if I created a hard edge there, that's high contrast. We don't want that. So we want all the color to be here. And then there, we just want it to be pretty much what it is, because Otherwise, it comes forward. The table will tip. Lay the color in. I'm not going to do too much there. Now, there's a couple ways I can get the transition. You can wipe it off. You can add more liquid. Or, I think what I like to do is just use the brush. So you just lift it off, rather than wipe it. But you need to lay down the pigment first, the paint. Because otherwise you're doing two techniques at once. You can't erase and draw. Draw a little bit, erase a little bit. Draw a little bit, erase a little bit. Same with painting. I'm tempted to put green over here. I don't think so. Cast shadows are darker than something that's in shade. So this is in shade. That's in shade. This is the cast shadow. They're always going to be darker. So the darkest part on your face is underneath your nose because it's a cast shadow, right? Mm -hmm. It does make a difference if you think about your cast shadows being the darkest. You see how it makes it made it pop to make that yeah. darker like that? Yeah. It makes a huge difference, yeah. and that took me about a minute. I want to do something to the background. How about orange? Start yeah. with that, and then switch. So I paint all the yellow first because I'm not blending it, I'm laying down the color first. Then you blend it. But if I started blending it at the beginning, I'm just going to use more yellow to get rid of the orange. Right? right. So you got to think ahead a little bit. There. And then for over on the other side, straight yellow. trying this just because the, the focal point's here, but I want to move your eye even farther this way. The eye comes in from this side. Yeah. I don't know if you guys buy into all that stuff of focal points. Is that the individual? Like how you see? Is it, is, it, is, it, is it universal, the focal point, or is it, are we all different? Well, yeah, you might look at the, the bird because you like birds more. 
but chances are your your eye is bouncing around pretty much the same as everybody else's. You're going to look at the high contrast. You're going to figure out what that is, and then you're going to look at the stuff that's all blurry and how well, it's blurry back to the high contrast. I don't know. I mean, I'm not an expert. Right? Just the hard edge, the the color, the value, everything, the texture. So if you want that to be your focal point, that's where all that is going to be, right? Your, yeah. So what is your focal point on that, like in your mind, like when you're doing this painting? I see the orange. Mm -hmm. The center oh. of the orange. And then your eye goes there. Yes. Mine is going and on the lemon, there. and the lemon's not even colored, so I'm this just one? wondering why. Probably be because it's the lightest white, mm -hmm. and yeah. it's the highest contrast. So yeah, good point.